everyone welcome back to my channel and today I'm talking about zoologists so I wanted to give an update on harvest mouse which I did a first impressions of a little while ago so here's harvest mouse I've worn her a few times I say her it's a, it's a little boy mouse so I've worn him a few times and I've also given a couple of samples a few samples away that's why there's such a dent I haven't worn that much but Harvest Mouse is beautiful and I wanted to, I tried to do a review the other day, I started it, I was going to wear through the day, blah de blah, did the first two clips and then I just got distracted <laughs> and didn't finish it. So this isn't a full review of Harvest Mouse, it's just really an updated opinion and I will try and do the full review soon. But Harvest Mouse, first of all to me, smells like it could be a Guerlain vanilla fragrance. So it smells exceptionally good quality to me. It's got a beer CO2 extract in it. So I think that's what lends it. It has like a, I wouldn't say hoppy exactly, but more like a wheaty cereal-like touch to it. And it definitely has plenty of vanilla it has a freshness about it and an airiness it doesn't change a lot on the skin so it, as i wore it the other day when i was trying to review it i realized that it, it starts off a little fresher i guess there's some bergamot or something like that in there that just gives it a little freshness but it's not a citrus perfume at all it just has a, a, a lightness to the opening a freshness and I would say predominantly is vanilla. It's a vanilla scent and it smells like a sweet vanilla, uh, like a planifolia, maybe even vanillin or a combination of a natural vanilla and some vanillin, but it's not cupcake sweet, sugary vanilla. No added sugar here. The vanilla in here is lovely. As I say, to me, that's what makes me think of Guerlain. It smells like a Guerlain vanilla scent. And it also reminds me, and I'm not saying it smells the same as, it definitely doesn't, the openings are completely different. But if you know Aura Sublime from Bijon Parfums, you may not, it's not that well known. I used to have a bottle that was sent to me by the brand and it was one of the best vanillas I'd ever smelled and I would put it in that category of a really, really exceptional vanilla fragrance. But it's not just pure vanilla, it's definitely got a lot more going on. I think there's cedar in here. Definitely smell clean, dry woods. I think there's a sandalwood note as well, but it's not like a really, um, some sandalwood notes can go quite dry and dusty, like Santel 33, for example. And some sandalwoods can go really rich and spicy, like Sam Seurat. I'd say it's somewhere in between the two. It's not one, it's not the other. There's a rich, creamy sweetness going on through the whole fragrance. I thought I picked out vanilla, not vanilla, lavender when I was smelling it the other day. It's certainly not a listed no. I don't know if there's lavender in here. I mean, as I say, it's not listed, but it wouldn't surprise me if there's a touch in there, but not really an obvious amount. Definitely get that kind of like herbal, almost peppery feel that lavender can bring. So yeah, it's difficult really for me to describe. It has got florals, it's got orange blossom. I don't find the florals that strong. I don't really notice the florals. I guess they're doing something and they're making the fragrance what it is, but I would never say this is an, I would never spray this and say this has got orange blossom in it. I, I wouldn't be able to tell, but obviously that is making a composition really what it is. So yeah, to me, it's a rich, sweet, creamy, yet kind of, not exactly powdery, slightly dusty, elements of dryness, that hay, there's a, a gorgeous hay note, if you imagine, a warm pile of hay sitting in the sun and the heat's hitting it and there's like evaporation of the moisture going on, something like that, it's really, really nice. So overall, it doesn't change a lot on the skin, obviously the opening, any any fragrance you spray when you first spray it, it changes pretty quickly so that obviously happens but once it's on your skin all that seems to happen to me is it sort of richens up 
if that makes sense, if that's even a word, feels like it richens up and I start to maybe get a touch more of the woods as it dries down. But overall, not the most changeable, but very, very beautiful, a light and airy, sweet fragrance. So I like this one a lot. I think it's gorgeous and I think it is really, really exceptional quality. So that's Harvest Mouse that was gifted to me by Victor from the brand Zoologist. So thank you to Victor for sending that to me. I'm really, really enjoying it. Now, when Victor sent me that, he also sent me some samples. He sent me a ton of samples actually, uh, most of which I'd already tried, but two I haven't tried yet. And I've like been patiently waiting to try. So I've got Cardinal, we'll start with that. I'm not expecting to like this one. I understand it's gonna be more of a classically masculine fragrance, but we are going to see how the cardinal smells. So let's go first spray so you can see. I've not even sprayed it. There we are. Now I'm gonna read you the notes. We've got lemon, bergamot, mandarin, and green leaves, rose, clary, sage, leather, Vanilla, oak, moss, musk, and patchouli. Uh, I think I, I was expecting, with lemon, bergamot, mandarin, and green leaves, I was expecting a citrus and green opening. But actually, those base notes are really quite strong, and I'm, more, I'm getting a lot of the leather and the patchouli coming together. They might be some of those aroma chemicals I don't really like that tend to go into the more masculine leaning fragrances. It's quite dark, like ebony woods, dark. Um, there is a lightness, but I wouldn't, I don't, I can't find on this strip right now, I can't find the citruses. I get more of the darker notes, the leather, patchouli, and to me a dark woods. There's no dark woods listed. Um, but yeah, the leather. There is a lightness though. There's a cleanliness. There's like, um, is it soapy? There's something a little soapy, shaving foam-esque about it. Yeah, it is, it's making me think of those, uh, like Reeve Gauche, you know, for men, those kind of fragrances, but with quite a strong... A patchouli leather accord but it's not it's very smooth it's not um it's not hard going it's actually a nice fragrance it almost smells like a men's designer though i would say more of a vintage men's designer i could see my dad wearing this so that is cardinal i do think that will appeal to vintage uh, men's designer lovers and then let's go for cow I have been wanting to try this one for so long look at her oh looks like she's got a pair of Bridget Jones pants on her head <laughs> oh okay yeah I know this one has grass note and grass and milk is it and let's have a look oh not grass hang on Sage, apple, milk, lily of the valley, heliotrope, violet, jasmine, cedarwood, vetiver, benzoin, musks, amber. Loads of notes I like there. Uh, the only one I might not like is, sometimes I don't like apple. It reminds me of DKMYB Delicious, which always smells so synthetically. Ugh. Oh, hang on. Is that my door? Hang on. No, that wasn't my door. Someone must have been out the back banging away. So as I was saying, uh, yeah, um, apple don't love generally, um, but yeah, let's see. And Lily of the Valley sometimes can be a little too green and a little too sharp for my tastes. But if it's softened up and sweetened with other notes, I can enjoy it. So let's just see. Um, I might do this. Do you know what? I'm doing this on skin because I have learned a lesson these last, and I, we all know you need to put fragrances on skin. But when you're testing a lot, it's impossible. But actually, it's almost stupid to bother testing on paper because I'm finding things are so different on the skin, like so different that it just doesn't make any sense. I feel like my last few videos where I tested a lot on paper, 
I feel like I put something out that wasn't really anything how the fragrance smell <laughs> because on paper it was so different and then after filming and I put the ones I like on skin in my own time I realize that they smell entirely different so um, yeah cows going on skin oh that's nice it definitely does have a fresh apple smell but so much more to it um, it's almost apple cucumbery, like watery apple, you know, like a really watery apple. So it doesn't smell like cucumber, but you know how cucumber is watery? This apple is cucumber-like watery. Green, it's definitely green. But I do smell the florals. The, the lily is not too sharp. Definitely do have green elements here. This is really pretty. This is nice. This is gentle. Like a cow is gentle, you know? their big wet tongues there's a underlying sweetness for sure now of course we've got benzoin and we've got what do we say vanilla did we we've got benzoin and amber so vanilla would make up an amber note if that's what the sort of amber that he means yeah it's a fresh apple lily fragrance green vibrant moist sitting on a slightly warm richer base but not it's not like at the moment it's not an amber fragrance it's not rich and really sweet it's more fresh but you can tell that underneath there's just a little bit of rich sweetness but mostly it's green vibrant fresh appley watery lily -y. I like oh pepper is it peppery yes yeah, really peppery have we got a pepper note no pepper note it's really peppery mm, I love pepper I really love pepper I think it really brings something exciting to a fragrance no pepper note listed but it's peppery maybe that's the sage who knows I like it yeah it's like cr cracked black pepper but really rah, rah. <laughs> it might even be like a white pepper you know you get like cheap little um pepper pots in cafes and and if you use them it all floats about in the air and you know like the the white really powdery pepper it's, it's actually reminding me of that i really like it it's it's a fresh spring scent to me so it's definitely springy yeah i like that well i will revisit that because it's on my skin i will revisit that in a mojo i think that's it actually isn't it yeah that was it i just wanted to update on the mouse which i love and then talk about these two that i haven't tried so there's cardinal again yeah i don't like that i've got to be honest it's, it smells like I couldn't tell you what aroma chemicals I think I'm smelling and I, maybe I'm not smelling aroma chemicals but it does smell like those modern niche fragrances that have a lot of very strong projecting sort of dry woody aroma chemicals I, it smells like a Harrods you know when lots of niche fragrances have been sprayed more on the masculine side more on the modern niche actually so i said vintage earlier i retract that this is a modern niche fragrance and no i don't like it sorry i think if someone walked past me i'd turn my head and I'd go, I say, I say this quite often, I'd go, there goes a frag head. Because it's got an impact. Like, I think if you like a big beast mode, modern niche uh, fragrance that everyone's going to smell, you're like this. It certainly does make an impact. But I just don't like those woody, woody, sort of dry, big, bombastic notes. They're just not for me. So... No, cardinals are no from me. Cow is a yes. 
Cow reminds me a little bit of Dragonfly actually. It has that watery feel. I don't know how these clever perfumers do this because it's not aquatic in, in that it doesn't smell like the sea. It doesn't smell like seaweed. It doesn't smell like sea air. It's when a perfumer can create an accord that makes me think of a lagoon. And um, Shelley Waddington did that with, was it Shelley Waddington? It was Shelley Waddington. No, Shelley Waddington did Hummingbird, which also kind of made me think of a lagoon, but more like tropical woods, uh, tropical florals. Um, but uh, Dragonfly, that was a, uh, the type, was it the Thai perfume? Anyway, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Tomu, Tomu, Tomu. Um, you, one of you will know. Put it in the comments. Who's the perfumer for the original Dragonfly? That's the one I like, the original Dragonfly, because it has this lagoon-like, pond-like, watery feel, but not like algae, not fishy, but just still water and life, you know birds floating around, flowers blooming about the place, uh, life, teeming with life, but watery. I don't know how, how the hell does a perfumer do it? I get a little hint of that here and I get it a lot more in Dragonfly, but I do feel like there's something in common here with Dragonfly. Oh, it does have heliotrope. I think they both have heliotrope. That might help. Um, yeah, this is nice. It's like slightly peppery, slightly sweet. The green, the greenness is kind of like calming down. It's not so apple-y already. This pepperiness is, is kind of taking over. Yeah, it's really nice. Cow gets a thumbs up from me. <laughs> Two thumbs up, actually. So that's it then. That's it for this Zoologist video. Thank you for watching. If you like it, do give me a thumbs up. If you wanted to support me, you can do so on Ko-fi, which I'll link below. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Bye.